He is known for being a Danish author who wrote plays, travelogues, novels, and poems. He is recognized for his literary fairy tales, which have been translated into over 125 languages and have become culturally embedded in the West's collective consciousness. His name is Hans Christian Andersen. In the world of literature, one name stands out as a legendary storyteller, Hans Christian Andersen. Born in Denmark in 1805, Andersen's creative genius soon made its mark. While he wrote plays, travelogues, novels, and poems, it is his collection of literary fairy tales that has etched his name in history. Andersen's fairy tales, comprising a remarkable 156 stories spread across nine volumes, have been translated into over 125 languages. These timeless tales have become deeply ingrained in the collective consciousness of the Western world. They are not only beloved by children but also offer valuable lessons of virtue and resilience in the face of adversity for readers of all ages. Some of Andersen's most famous fairy tales include, The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Mermaid, The Nightingale, The Steadfast Tin Soldier, The Red Shoes, The Princess and the Pea, The Snow Queen, The Ugly Duckling, The Little Match Girl, and Thumbelina. These enchanting stories have inspired numerous adaptations, from ballets to plays, and from animated to live-action films. Through his captivating storytelling, Hans Christian Andersen has left an indelible mark on the world of literature. His tales continue to inspire and captivate readers across generations, reminding us of the power of imagination and the enduring magic of a well-told story. In the early 1830s, a young writer named Hans Christian Andersen embarked on a new literary adventure, The World of Fairy Tales. His collection, Fairy Tales Told for Children. First collection, marked his first foray into this genre that would later become his greatest literary achievement. The collection was published in three installments between May 1835 and April 1837 by C. A. Reitzel in Copenhagen, Denmark. The first installment, released in May 1835, included four enchanting tales. The Tinderbox, Little Claws and Big Claws, The Princess and the Pea, and Little Ida's Flowers captivated readers with their magical elements and moral lessons. Anderson drew inspiration from various sources for his tales. The first three were based on folk tales he had heard during his own childhood, while the last tale, Little Ida's Flowers, was a creation specifically crafted for the daughter of his benefactor, just Matthias Thiele. Reitzel recognized the brilliance of Anderson's work, paying him 30 rix dollars for the manuscript. The second installment, released in December 1835, introduced three more captivating tales. Thumbelina, a tale of a tiny girl, was entirely Anderson's creation. The Naughty Boy was based on a poem by Anacreon about Cupid, while The Traveling Companion delved into the realm of ghost stories. These tales showcased Anderson's vivid imagination and ability to create memorable characters. The final installment, published in April 1837, included two tales that would solidify Anderson's international reputation. The Little Mermaid, influenced by de la Motte Fouquet's Undine, and the lore of mermaids, captured the hearts of readers with its poignant story of sacrifice and love. The Emperor's New Clothes, based on a medieval Spanish story, cleverly critiqued human vanity and the power of perception. Despite initial criticism from Danish reviewers, who found Andersen's style too informal and immoral for children's literature, the collection gained recognition over time. Andersen believed he was challenging their expectations and temporarily returned to novel writing. However, in 1837, the combined collection of the Nine Tales was published and sold at 72 shillings, featuring a title page, table of contents, and a preface by Andersen himself. Little did Anderson know that his literary fairy tales would captivate audiences worldwide and establish him as one of the most beloved storytellers in history. His imaginative tales continue to inspire and enchant readers of all ages, reminding us of the enduring magic found within the pages of a well-crafted story. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.